Welcome to Simple Hobby Homesteading. I am Jenna, and of course, every time I talk, you're gonna hear the turkeys over to the side. They are so loud. But today we're gonna to talk about bees. I just picked up my two nukes of bees. There's a nuke right here and a nuke right here. And we waited till this afternoon to put them in the hives because this morning it was actually really cool out. So I wanna make sure that we had a nice warm afternoon to put them into the hives. So a nuke versus a package when you get a hive of bees, a nuke has already hives, the hive in there with frames full of what they call brood. So it's got the queen in there, it's got all the workers, it's got all the drones, and they have actual brood, which is eggs and larvae and different stages of the brood in there that are all getting ready to hatch and the queen is continuing to lay. And so this is like a hive ready to go. It's just a souped up hive ready to go. And I got two of those so that we have a really great start to our beekeeping. You can see there's bees buzzing all over. Some of them got out of the boxes. And so they're just kind of hanging around each of their hives here. Um, but, and then the rooster starts talking. Um, but also there's what's called a package, which is what they do is they just dump a bunch of bees into a box, seal up the box, and then they get a queen and they put a queen in a little cage and they put that in there the roosters can interrupt me and they put that queen in there and so that the hive kind of adopts that queen and then you put that package into your beehive and they just kind of make everything from scratch so the queen has to lay all of her eggs the workers, the drones, they have to build all the comb and everything for the queen to lay the eggs. And so it's really, they start from scratch and they have to build everything themselves. With a nuke, like we got, it's already, the hive is already there, the, the comb is already built, eggs are already in there, and so it is just a ready to go. And I decided, being new to beekeeping, let's give myself the best option to start. So before we put the bees into the hive, right now we just have a base on the hive. And then we have one brood box. And so in one, in one brood box, I'm sorry, every time I talk and the rooster interrupts me and then the turkey interrupts me and I stop and it's just crazy. But our brood box is a 10 frame brood box. And so what we'll do is there's actual frames in this nuke box. And so we'll take out, when we put the bees in, we'll take out some of those empty frames and we place them with the frames from this nuke box. And so it's got the, the frames in there. And then I've got uh, an entrance, a top entrance, underneath the cover and I've got a top underneath the cover and then I have the cover um, and so what's gonna happen is they'll fill out um, there's a couple frames in here and then they'll they'll fill out the extra frames and then I'll put another brood box on top in probably a short amount of time because I was told by dogwood that they have a ton of babies getting ready to hatch and so lots and lots of workers and drones so that's why we just have one brood box right now. I want them to fill out a few of the empty frames before I add another brood box. So I want them to fill out horizontally rather than going up into another brood box right away. Um, and so we're also going to put in, and even though it is today April 16th, it's my son's 17th birthday, um, even though it's well into April and there's tons of things blooming, we are going to go ahead and put um, a feeder of sugar water in for them just to get them a really good start and Fluffy's here to say hello. I don't know if you can see her. I don't know, it's hard to see the camera because of the sun. But so we're gonna put some sugar water. And then also what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a couple patties of this um, Ultra B bulk feed. We're gonna put a couple of the patties right on top of the frame. And the reason we're gonna do that once again is just to kind of give them a good head start uh, in case they can't readily find exactly what they want it's just going to give them a good start or we're having some cool nights coming up and some cool days and so i just want to give them a good start but this stuff is just like a, a tacky brown stuff and you just kind of make a patty yes all the roosters we hear you and you just kind of make a patty from it and that patty just sits on top of the the frames so i'm going to make probably four patties total and put two on each frame. So I'm gonna get those ready, so that way when I have my bee, my bee suit on, I don't have to worry about trying to put plastic gloves over my other gloves and having that be all crazy. So I'm just gonna make a couple patties and then put these, like I said, right on top of the frames. 
So we're going to put those patties. Now I am going to go in and put my beekeeping suit on just to be safe. I'm going to wear the whole suit just because um, I could probably easily get away with just wearing the hood, but I want to wear the whole suit today just to get a feel for what it feels like to move around in the bee suit. Hi, Fuzzy. I don't know if you can see her, but Fuzzy Bear is right below me here, our Great Pyrenees. Do you smell that? Does that smell good to you? I don't know if these bee patties would smell good to you, Fuzzy. Okay, so there we go. And the sugar water is just a, a simple mixture, a one-to-one -one ratio mixture that I made up. Uh, earlier, so it was all ready. So, okay, so we've got our patties ready, we got our bee um, sugar water ready, and actually I'm gonna put that in. There is a little notch that I can put it in in the feeder down here in our entrance reducer. So I'm gonna put that there. And then where's my other one? Oh, it's over here. So as you can see, there, I don't have the bees in yet, but there's the feeder, it fits right into this little notch. I'm gonna take it out so you can see. It fits right into that little notch. And I got these from Dogwood Ridge Bees, and that fits that perfectly. And then this is called an entrance reducer, where they can only get in these three spots, and mice can't get in there, so that's why we want those nice and small. And instead of screwing it into the hive, I just put a rock here for now, because I'm gonna switch this out with a different entrance reducer when I take the sugar water away. So I didn't feel like screwing it in, because I'm gonna put a different kind on there. So same thing here with this hive. I put the sugar water there. I just put a brick to, to hold this entrance reducer on, and there's the entrance reducer. Um, this is the brood box here, and then here's the lid. And I'll, I'll show you the, with the video camera um, when we take it off how you can see the inside of everything. So there's a couple of the bees that are out and about already, and they're in, uh, and they're just trying to get back into their queen there. But these guys are actually pretty darn gentle. I love it. So I'm going to go put the bee suit on, and I'll be right back. Bye bye. Alrighty everybody, I'm back and I have my beekeeping suit and the turkeys are still talking and this is what this looks like. Let's get it. You get it on like that and you feel very much like an astronaut. Um, I could not find my beekeeping gloves, they're somewhere, so today I will be using mechanics gloves and I will let you know here shortly if this is a good idea. So beekeeping gloves, I do know they go up over your sleeves and so they're bigger and longer. Um, so we'll just see how this all goes. But uh, I'm going to suit up and I probably don't need to be in all the garb today because they don't seem that angry. Um, and I'm just going to be kind of just putting them in. So we'll see, but I am just in case. And like I said, I want to get a feel for how it feels to move around in my beekeeping suit. So this thing's got zippers that zip up. I honestly, I feel like an astronaut, like 100% feel like an astronaut. Um, and so I'm zipping up all the holes because I do not want to get a surprise bee in here. And I can't even tell if I got it all. I think I do. So, yep, that's me. That's me. The bees can't get me. I feel like they can in the back, but they can't. I'm good in the back, right? Y'all would tell me if I wasn't, right? Well, I guess you can't really. I don't know. And they say a beekeeping suit, uh, well, they say the camera adds 10 pounds. A beekeeping suit adds probably about 400 pounds because, wow, it, it feels big. Um, so I've got, I've got my gloves, that's, so I'm going to put that down. I'm like kind of delaying. I'm just like, I don't know. So I'm going to put my little mechanics gloves on here. The nice thing is these do, um, they've got a Velcro that's nice and tight. So I can tighten those up. But there's like a little spot right there that if a bee finds it, they're going to be able to sting me. So we'll see. We'll see how this all goes. And a bee sting, I've been stung by a wasp. I've been stung by honeybees. It's not that bad, but we'll see. Um, all right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this hive, and I'm going to do it from the other side so that hopefully you can see. All right, so I'm going to do it from the back here so you can see. This is kind of the, the less active hive, it seems. This one, they, not as many of them have gotten out. So first, we're going to take off the lid. And we're going to take off this. We're going to take off that bottom undercover lid. We're going to take off the entrance reducer. Or I'm sorry, this is the top entrance. This isn't an entrance reducer, this is a top entrance. We're going to take off the top entrance. All right, so now I need to take a couple of these out. 
I can't remember how many they said were gonna be in there, but we'll see. Take a couple of those out. We can always take more out if we need to. All right, now is the moment of truth. We're gonna open up our little hive. Well, now opening this up is hard to do with gloves on. Let's see here. I'm trying not to wrestle around too much because I know they don't, bees don't like vibration. Okay, so I should be good just like that. So, oh, that's a lot of bees. Whoa, guys, that's a lot of bees. Okay, so I'm not really gonna spend the time tipping it to show you guys, but this is a lot of bees and they're on me and they're buzzing and this is very unnerving, but it's kind of fun. Okay, oh, they're all around. You can feel their vibrations. This is so bizarre. You can feel the vibrations. Okay, so we have some comb that's stuck. And of course, I didn't bring my hive tool. Of course I didn't. So I'm just going to lift these two together. Wow. That's a lot of bees. So this was an outside frame. I'm gonna keep it as an outside frame. Oh, I can feel them on me. They're not happy. They're not thrilled. But if I can just get them in there, I think like when they get on me and they're not happy, like that's what I'm feeling, the, the extra buzz. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there were there were five frames in here. Oh, they are on me. Okay, I'm gonna relax. Okay, these are a little bit more separated. So I can get these in here, just gently putting them in. Oh, that was a vibration. They didn't like that. Ooh, they didn't like that. My fingers caught. <laughs> my glove finger okay they are in that hive is in I'm gonna leave this open right here I'm gonna leave the box open right next to them um, I'm going to move while I'm all suited up I'm gonna move these five frames that I took out I'm gonna move these over here so I can get them without getting stung later okay these guys are pretty darn happy right now that is a lot of bees. That's just a lot of bees. I can't believe how many bees that is. And they look really happy. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna bring the camera over. I hope my hands aren't sticky. So look at this. This is just absolutely incredible. They are loving life right now. Look at all that comb. They're all swarming in there. And they're actually, they're actually really neat. Now I didn't even look to see if I could find the queen. Oh, I should have. As I was taking them out in the next box, I will. I will in the next box. Okay, guys. Let's get this box in. Let's get this next hive in. I'm gonna move this box down so that I can take the top off. This hive is a little more active. So many bees. It is just incredible. And when they land on you, the buzzing is just, it's just incredible. Like the vibration. All right, I'm gonna take out these five here. All right, and I'm going to be able to move these around as I see fit and as I need to when I open up this box. All right, this is a very active hive. I'm gonna show it to you. As you can see, this is a very, very active hive. I just got stung, yep. Okay, I gotta go get different gloves on. They're not happy with this, and there's like uh, ventilation holes in these gloves, which isn't good. Okay, so I'm back. So they really did not like being tipped like that, obviously. Um, and there's an interesting amount of sugar water at the bottom here. I don't know why. 
Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift these up and I'm going to put them in. I put another pair of gloves on. I put plastic gloves on the inside. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this works. So we're going to do this rather quickly. Oh, sorry. So we're going to put that one in the middle. That's one that's like an outside frame. We're going to put that in the middle there. This is a really busy frame here. We're going to put this one towards the outside. I have a... There's a nice full frame right here. This is... Whoa, that wasn't good. I accidentally dropped that. That's probably where the queen was. Sorry, queenie. Yeah, she probably didn't love that. That's okay. I'm learning. I'm learning. These frames are much heavier than they seem, 100% heavier than they seem. And the worst thing that happened was a bunch of the bees went to the bottom, but that's okay because there's some nice, lovely, uh, there's some nice, lovely um, sugar water down there. So we're gonna get this one out. This is a nice, another full frame, and this might also be where the queen is. I'm gonna look for a second. I'm gonna look better. I'll open it up in a couple days when I have my good gloves, and we'll see. There's that. There's that. They're looking good. Everything is looking really good. Kitty cat, I would move. Yeah, a kitty cat came over to say hi, and she did not like that idea for very long. All right, so that's a nice full frame there, and here's another full frame. This hive is just insane. This one is so crazy full. It's incredible. So we're going to put that one next to a couple of empty frames. And you can see the bees everywhere. They're looking great. It's buzzing. Everything's buzzing. All right. It looks amazing. So, and I think another thing that was not good is I had that patty stuff on my hands. Um, and I think they loved the taste or the smell of that and that might have attracted them to my hands more than I wanted them to be, you know? So, I've got a brush here that I'm just gonna get everybody off of me. Okay, I'm gonna put some patties on here for them. And once I said, these are just supplemental feeding. They should enjoy this. Move, baby. They should enjoy that extra feed. That hive is incredibly strong. And I know I smushed one bee. I feel so bad, but I smushed one bee already. But that's okay. It's okay. I didn't mean to, bees. All right, so I'm gonna cover up. I'm going to cover this up. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. All right, now we're going to put everything back on. So the first thing I'm going to put back on is the inner cover. And that just goes on just like that. The buzzing. Oh, those two are fighting or something on there. I'm going to put that inner cover back on. All right, I'm going to put this top entrance back on. You can see it's got a little notch right there. That's a top entrance. I'm going to put that back on. All right, so note to self, wear something other than these mechanics gloves because they've got too much ventilation and the bees will sting through there. Oh my goodness. But the sting didn't hurt too bad at all, actually. Um, in fact, I can't even hardly feel it now. Um, so we're done. I'm going to leave these boxes here a little bit longer. I might actually pull the boxes a little bit away so they're encouraged to go actually into their hive. I'm so surprised the cats are hanging around here. All right, guys, I think that's it for now. Um, I absolutely love having the bee suit. This is incredible. I'm going to step away from the bees, take off uh, the gloves, and take a look at my bee sting. And just, I'm just curious to see if it swelled up at all or anything, but it doesn't hurt anymore at all. Um, a bee sting is not like a wasp sting, in my, in my uh, opinion. Um, a honey bee sting is not as bad. 
So, and these guys really are just excited to go into their home. They're excited to check everything out. Um, it's just very interesting, but the vibrations when they land on you, um, and you can tell exactly where they are in your body when they land on you. The vibration is just incredible. Um, and it's unnerving when it's on your hands, but, or anywhere else, you know, and you can feel like if they're in your sleeves or something, you can feel the vibration. You can feel where they are, which is so cool. Alrighty, so I stepped away from the hive just a little bit because I kind of wanted to be able to take off my gloves. Um, and so I am going to take off my gloves and just see. I'm going to kind of throw those gloves there. They've still got some of that patty on them. But I had one. I went and grabbed another pair of gloves and put on the outside. I put a plastic pair of gloves on the inside. <laughs> it's just crazy. Um, I just need to find my other gloves. I need to find my beekeeping gloves. I don't know where I put them. Um, but I am going to go ahead and take... So that hand, that didn't have any issues. That didn't get stung at all. Hi, bees. Okay, so I got stung on my thumb. I don't know if you can see it. I got stung on my thumb, and I can't even tell where I got stung. Um, it was like right here, but I can't even tell where I got stung. And so really not a big deal, but I know I did get stung. Um, and they're still swarming around me a little bit, so I'm gonna keep the hood on while I walk back down to the house. But all in all, I did it, I installed my bees. Um, and what we're gonna do, the plan is, we are going to build um, with some cinder blocks. Along the side, we're gonna build uh, like a cinder block, uh, like little flower garden kind of thing, along both sides. And that's gonna help keep down that weed barrier that we have at the bottom. Um, so that's gonna serve to keep down the weed barrier, but it's also going to serve to um, plant some flowers and also just kind of keep a, um, kind of a barrier so when we have people come to visit the farm um, they know not to go in that area so we'll actually have cinder blocks all around that area uh, so they know what distance to keep so that they don't upset the bees um, but I don't think it'll be a problem with you know having the bees come back and forth from the garden to there because they really they leave me alone for the most part it's not that bad at all now the one hive is so much more active than the other. That's very, very curious to me and I don't know why. Um, other than it seemed the one hive was very much larger than the other hive. So uh, we gotta name our hives. So in the comments, give me some ideas of what you wanna name the hive. And it's just crazy to me how the one hive is so much more busy than the other. Um, but we'll just keep an eye on everything and I'll check them in three or four days and when I have my gloves and we'll just see how everything goes. So I am going to try to get some closer up pictures without putting the gloves back on because I'm not super smart. <laughs> no. Um, I was surprised how much the bee sting didn't really hurt, but I don't want to get stung a bunch of times. But yeah, that was super fun. Okay, remember you guys, do what you can with what you have wherever you are. I love you guys and welcome back to the videos. I'm so excited to be back. It is a beautiful spring day, so I can't wait to do more. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>